Remember all those years they were telling everyone how dangerous vitamin A is and not to take it, especially for pregnant women? Well, now's the time to possibly rethink that philosophy. Out of a study coming out of the Journal of Clinical Investigation, they discovered a new benefit for vitamin A in the developing baby that has not been mentioned before. Even though the infant can show no outward signs of vitamin A deficiency, this can still occur, which gives us a new whole level of deficiency when it comes to vitamin A. We may need a little bit more than we think. Interesting enough, this is what happens. If the developing fetus does not have adequate enough of vitamin, amounts of vitamin A, especially through the diet, the bronchial tubes cannot develop properly and therefore can become over hypersensitive to certain stimuli, meaning asthma. So, in their words, this is what they said. There is now a direct evidence, a link between prenatal vitamin A deficiency and postnatal airway hyperresponsiveness, the hallmark of asthma. Most pregnant women in the United States are probably getting enough vitamin A in their diet, but they're not certain because of drugs, medications, things along those lines. So please review that. They appear normal, and they usually would have no problems typically associated with vitamin A deficiency. However, pulmonary function tests showed that the lungs were clearly not normal. When they gave animals the challenge and gave them a certain irritants to see what happened, the ones that got adequate vitamin A in the diet responded normally. The ones that didn't have adequate vitamin A in the diet while they were developing, they had asthma or breathing issues, which is important because even though they got vitamin they added vitamin A to their diet later on in their life, the breathing or bronchial tubes never came back to normal. So that's something to think about when it comes to vitamin A in developing fetus and pregnancy. You may want to make definite certain that you can adequate vitamin A out of your diet because the subtle changes it has in the organs when a baby is developing can be lifelong. Discuss with your medical practitioner, discuss with your doctor, Discuss with your certified nutritionist. Now more than ever, it is important to make sure you have adequate vitamin A in your diet if your children are going to be asthma free, hopefully, the rest of their lives. Thanks once again.